Normal blood pressure is typically 120 over 80, although we don't tend to treat people unless their blood pressure goes up over 135 on the top number and 85 on the bottom number. There are various causes for high blood pressure. Some we, to this day, have not completely identified. We call that essential hypertension, and people can sometimes inherit that from their family. Although you can have high blood pressure as well if you tend to overeat salt or are overweight or can have certain problems, sometimes problems even with your kidneys or other things can cause the blood pressure to go up. Of course, if you have high blood pressure, you should see your doctor on an annual basis at least. And if your doctor recommends medical therapy to control your blood pressure, that's the first best and probably easiest way of controlling your blood pressure. On your own, if your blood pressure is borderline, then you need to look at some lifestyle factors that do contribute to higher blood pressures in terms of how much salt you're eating, what kind of foods you're eating, how much you're exercising, what's your weight like, are you getting enough sleep, are you drinking enough water. So generally I recommend 30 to 40 minutes of light aerobic activity three or four times a week and trying to keep your salt to about two, two and a half grams a day if you can. Well, that's a great question. People really focus on total cholesterol and that's what we used to use for screening, but it's not the best number to use because Total cholesterol includes HDL cholesterol, that's the high density lipoprotein, which is actually the good cholesterol. And as that goes up, your total cholesterol goes up. So HDL is a molecule that kind of helps bring the bad cholesterol, LDL, out of circulation, kind of pulls it out of the bloodstream. And it goes up with exercise and good diet. LDL cholesterol, low density lipoprotein, is the more dangerous cholesterol. It's a smaller little molecule, and that's typically the little bit of cholesterol that gets in the plaques and the vessels that forms you know, what we call coronary artery disease or vascular disease. Blood pressure is a, one of the number one risk factors for developing heart attacks and strokes and it's one of the more modifiable risk factors for heart attacks and strokes. So people need to be worried about things that they can do um, to reduce their own risk of things moving forward as they age. There are so many things in life that they, we can't control, cer certainly genetic history or family history of certain diseases, but blood pressure is something that we're really easily capable of controlling in the clinic, and it shows that if we do a good job controlling it, you should have less heart attacks and strokes, less problems really in the future. High blood pressure can have symptoms, although it's a mixed bag in terms of who, f who feels them. Sometimes people that have high blood pressure feel a headache, sometimes they feel their face flushing, or they just don't feel well. My blood pressure is high, I just don't feel well. That's sort of a generalized feeling. But in general, it's sort of a silent problem. We call it a silent killer because you really don't feel it all the time. There are plenty of people that have gone with blood pressure twice what is normal their whole lives and never really known until someone put a blood pressure cuff on them. So that's what makes it really important to see a doctor and be screened on a regular basis because you may not know you have high blood pressure and if you do have high blood pressure it needs to be treated.